Okay, so I'm gonna do like a uh, setup tour. Yeah. Some of the things in the setup, just like mostly just the keyboard, uh, that's temporary. I will be getting a different keyboard that's basically the same thing, but 65% instead of 60%. So that will be different very soon, but that's the only thing that it's gonna change. So starting off the setup tour, I'm just gonna talk about the monitor. So I have two monitors. Uh, really, this is an old TV. Sorry, it's a bit dirty right there, but really, this is just an old TV, and it's. I have no idea what hertz it would be. Uh, I got it for free from a friend. Uh, but then this is. I bought this. It's an Acer monitor for. It was for eighty dollars and seventy-five hertz. And I just because this one is smaller uh, and shorter, I have it on these two little. I guess I would call it monitor risers. They're really just two pieces of wood I painted, but I stick it under there and I keep my coaster under there when I'm not using it because it would usually be like here. But when I'm not using it, it just goes under there to keep the desk space cleaner. Yeah. So then, desk is a 55 inch, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's 55 inches. Uh, 55 inch. Like it's a, I don't know how to say it. It's I'll put the picture of the name up on the screen. But so this was I think about twenty. I think it was twenty seven dollars. Pretty sure for the tabletop. Then I have two Alex drawers on each side, and I don't have any. It's table risers or anything. I just just the two Alex drawers. So then my chair. Uh, it was I guess I would call it a budget chair. And also, it just gets little things in the holes here, but really, it's just, like, dirt and dust from, you know, my pants, but, uh, so this was $60 off Amazon, I will try to link it in the description, uh, it's a pretty good chair, if you want to buy it, just so you know, um, this bit here, like, this bit is fine, but this bit here will stick into your back a tiny bit, depending on how you sit. I just sit in a way that doesn't have it stick into my back. But other than that, uh, the armrests, I mean, they're an arm armrest. But th this is actually pretty cushiony for $60, and the back is pretty good. Somewhat lumbar supportive. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's even a real term, but... Then I guess I'll just talk about what's on the desk. Uh, this is a little fake plant from Ikea, I mean... Uh, it's, yeah, it's just fake plant. Uh, then I have this to kind of go with the theme of the stormtroopers. Uh, and it's just something I'm going to put on the desk. It's just a, uh, I can't remember the name of the specific stormtrooper, but, uh, yeah, the stormtrooper. And then this is a real plant, as you can see. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's called. It's some kind of succulent. I also got it from Ikea. So I just have those things there. And then up here... I have this cactus that I also got from Ikea, and uh, there's, I couldn't get the sticker all the way off, uh, I'm too lazy to try anymore, so I just face it away, you know, just fix your problems like that, I just keep that on my PC, but in the corner so it doesn't like fall down in here or anything, because there, you know, there's holes in the little pot thing, but so yeah, I don't have much on my desk really, oh, this, uh, this is supposed to be a stand for a Wii U, but I actually put my phone in it, and just put it there, and have it stand there, so I can, like, see it, you know, and it's easier to see when I get a text or something, but, so, yeah, I don't really have that much on my desk, other than the actual monitors and peripherals, things like that, but, so, I'll move on to the peripherals. So, this is an RK61, and the only color setting this one can be on is blue, and this is technically not mine, it's my friend's, but in a few days I'm getting the RK68, which is a 65% uh, instead of 60% like this. So it will have arrow keys here and four of the function keys, maybe, I think. Uh, so these aren't the keycaps that come with it also, these are different keycaps. But this one is usually a white, but these are my black keycaps on it. And I also flip my space bar because I just find it's more comfortable for typing and gaming. Just have it like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's the keyboard. And then my mouse is a Pictech gaming mouse, and it was 20, it's, it, the price varies. Sometimes it goes down to $20, sometimes it goes down to 20, up to $25. Um, I've never seen it go above $25, but it, I find 
it's a good mouse for if your budget is twenty dollars and it goes on sale for twenty dollars then i would say buy it over maybe a razor viper ultimate mini if you really need like a twenty dollar mouse and all you have is twenty dollars and you need a mouse this second uh it hasn't broken or anything yet uh the side clips are pretty good uh, it has three buttons there as you can see on the side uh, I don't really use the first button at all. It kind of triple clicks, but in a lot of games it doesn't register those triple clicks. Uh, but so, you can change the, uh, the sensitivity of the mouse like this. So, I have it on the second lowest setting right now. But it goes up, I think it was five, uh, I don't know. But the scroll wheel is, it's not, uh, it has, it's a, has the friction scroll wheel. So it won't just like, if you spin it, it won't go crazy or anything. Uh, one thing I did wish it came with was a braided cable. It doesn't have a braided cable, which is too bad. Because really, uh, for what I personally was for $20. It's usually $25, but for $25, I would have expected a braided cable. And on my $10 mouse that I had before this, it did unfortunately break, so I would not recommend buying that. It did have a braided cable. But that's really my only nitpick about this. But if, you might as well just buy the Razer Viper Ultimate Mini. I didn't know this was a thing with the, uh, the Razer Mini. I didn't know that was a thing before I bought this. Uh, and the RGB is decent. There's a little bit on the back there. The sensor is, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good sensor. It's, yeah, not that great of a sensor, but it's, it gets the job done. So then also the mouse pad. Uh, the mouse pad is... It does have um, an LED on the side. It does have LED, but uh, an RGB, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I guess that's the company. Uh, it, it's, it doesn't really work that well because uh, it had a little bit of water damage on it. But if I, I did want to plug it in, then I could plug it in. But it just doesn't work that well. And honestly, it was never that bright. But I got it from a friend. Um, and it's their old one. So it's i'm not sure about the size of it um but it's pretty big i wouldn't have had a big mouse pad honestly if i didn't get this from my friend if it wasn't their old one i wouldn't have gotten it but there it is it's i mean it's a mouse pad you know what can i say it's a, it's a little dirtier right now don't mind that uh i also cut it a little bit uh RIP that bit of a mouse pad. Uh, yeah. So then moving on to the PC here. Uh, this was an old uh, Cybertower pre-built. And it's still got a DVD ROM in it, which is cool, you know. So you can put DVDs in it. Or DVD games if you want to. Uh, but so it has, I'm pretty sure, uh, three fans, I think. Uh, so three fans came with it. I'm thinking the uh, cooler master, like uh, CPU cooler, might have been put in there by the person who owned it before. Uh, so I also got this for free from our neighbors, they were gonna throw it out. And the specs are a GT710 for the graphics card. This is a 4300, FX4300 quad core processor. Uh, it's gonna have 500 watt power supply, 8 gigs of RAM. I'm not sure what the motherboard is really. Uh, <laughs> you wouldn't want to buy it anyways. Uh, one terabyte of hard drive there, and then that's kind of it. Uh, and then I also have a Chester Cheeto guy in there because why not? Uh, but it's I mean it gets the job done. Uh, it runs on low settings. It runs Valorant at about 60 FPS, 50 to 60. Uh, Minecraft at about 60 FPS. Uh, on low settings, it runs Fortnite at about 30, so sometimes 40, and if nothing's going on, like 50 or 60. Then, Rocket League, I'm not sure what FPS it runs. It doesn't run Rocket League great. I don't know why, it just doesn't run it very well. Uh, it surprisingly runs Sea of Thieves just fine on the low settings. Uh, then, it's kind of it. That, that's the games I play, kind of. Uh, but it, uh, I'm thinking about it. So when I upgrade it, I'll probably get a Ryzen 7 3600. And I'm not sure about the graphics card right now because I want to buy it relatively soon. And the prices are so high right now. It's so hard to find graphics cards 
Uh, I'm not sure what I'm thinking on that. I might get 16 gigs of RAM just because that'll be helpful for my coding and streaming. Because this can stream some things. It really can only stream Minecraft and anything else that streams. Uh, it skips a lot of frames, but that's the only thing it doesn't do great at streaming. Well, it doesn't do great on anything else really, but you know what I mean. Uh, also, it's got ketchup and mustard cables, <laughs> so I if I had the choice of changing the side panel to one you couldn't see, I might do that. But uh, just because of the horrible cables and everything, but uh, it does have not only really RGB, just just B, just blue on the fans, uh, and that's the only lighting on the PC really. So then moving on to the cable management, it could be better. Um, I don't think it's horrible. I don't care about the cables too much. You can see some of them coming from here. Uh, that's just my mouse cable, so it's sticking up there. You can see a few cables back there, and also the keyboard cable here isn't really cable managed. It's like not in any of like the little bunchings I've put together, but I'll show you it from the back too. So here it is from the back. Uh, this is mostly like, it's it's more for organization than looks. It doesn't look great, but uh, this also runs down here and then I have a power strip just over here behind my bed. But really it's, it's kind of just mostly bundled up in some spots and duct tape was used. Uh, and also, I don't know why I still have this back here. I just haven't on Cable Magics. I had to use that before I got a headphone splitter for my headphones so I could use the mic and the headphones, which I'll show you in a second. But uh, So the cable management, uh, it's okay. It's a little bit of a work in progress, though. But it's somewhat hidden. It's fairly hidden from the front here. So really, I'm fine with it. I don't care about the cables too much. So. So in here is where I keep my headphones, speaker, and controller. This is also a uh, little camera. Uh, and so my headphones on the project, these were made for Xbox, so it's supposed to only have one for the mic and the headphones. But of course on PC, there are two ports. So. We need something like this, which is a headphone splitter, as you can see, there we go. One is headphones, one is, like, not flip <laughs> headphones, one is audio, and then one is for the mic, uh, which is kind of the same thing, I don't know what I'm saying, but anyways, uh, I basically just, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but you, I, I don't think I can do it with one hand. But you just plug it in there, uh, this part to there, and then you plug these two cords in to here and here, and it's pretty simple. I don't know why I would need to show you that, but so these are the Turtle Beach Recon 70s, uh, and the mic is, the only thing about these is the mic is pretty short, so sometimes you don't talk loud enough, it doesn't pick up as much, and it's not the nicest mic ever. It picks up a lot of like background kind of static, I guess I would call it, but it's okay. Then this speaker, uh, it okay. A lot of my stuff is for free in my setup. I'm just realizing that. But uh, this was for free because I found it in somebody when we moved to this new house. Somebody had left this in a drawer from when they had moved. Uh, so let me show you here. Oops. Okay, there we go. It opens up like that, and this actually lights up if I... So it's Bluetooth, and you can just plug it in. I usually just plug it in. But that's the actual speaker part. It's kind of just for looks here. But it's an iHome speaker, and it kind of sucks, not going to lie. But it's better than the, the speakers on that monitor. TV, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it does have a lot of, like, white noise, I guess I'll call it. And, but, it, I mean, honestly, it's not bad you know uh, and the cable is pretty short but I only use it occasionally most of the time I'm using my headphones and that's just uh, an Xbox one controller I technically got with the Xbox one s uh, but it's just the USB cable that I plug in whenever I want to play some controller game but that's really it for my setup so 
should put that back in there. Uh, that's really it. So it's a pretty basic setup. Uh, I don't have any like RG, uh, RGB lights or anything or LED lights. I do have them in my room, but they're just you know, like on my walls. But really, that's the whole setup. Uh, I do kind of want to make that more hidden there. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention, I also use a Wi-Fi card uh, on this as an Ethernet cable, just because this one also has Bluetooth, I'm pretty sure, and this PC didn't have Bluetooth before, so that's why I got the Wi-Fi card over the Ethernet cable. Just so you know, because a lot of people would be mad at me for that, because <laughs> it's not as fast connection. Well, I don't really care about it, though. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll try to link everything down below, at least link the things I can down below. Uh, and I'll put the PC, PC specs down below too in the description. But so, if you liked the video, then leave a like. If you didn't like it, then you know what to do. Hit that dislike button. Also, if you really liked it, uh, which is, there's not a very good chance of you really liking it, um, then, yeah, I mean, if, if you really liked it, then you can subscribe, I guess. Uh, yeah. There. there, there. It's in frame. Okay. Uh, well, that's, that's kind of it for the video. Yeah, I hope you liked it.